Has anyone ever called you antisocial just because you declined to engage in social interactions? That's not the correct use of the term. So how should one refer to introverts? Continue watching this video to find out. Here are a few major differences between introverts and antisocial people. Number one, the term antisocial versus asocial. Many people often refer to someone as antisocial when they decline to engage in social interactions, but that's not the correct term. According to American Psychological Association, antisocial refers to denoting or exhibiting behavior that sharply deviates from social norms and also violates other people's rights. So how should one refer to introverts? We should refer to them as asocial. Asocial refers to declining to engage or incapable of engaging in social interaction. Number two, how they act in a social setting. A common misconception that we have is that introverts are people who like to be alone. But the truth is, introverts don't really mind company. Introverts tend to have one or two close friends instead of a large social circle and get drained by too much social interaction. What separates introverts from extroverts is that after a long weekend of socializing, an introvert needs time to recharge on their own. An antisocial person may attend a party too and can be witty, charming, and fun to be around. However, they may have little or no regard for right or wrong. They're often antagonistic and frequently act insensitively. They may also resort to lying and exploiting others, behaving violently or impulsively, and having problems with drug and alcohol use. Number three, their feelings. A study conducted by the University of North Carolina showed that introverts are more likely to be diagnosed with depression. Why introverts don't report higher levels of happiness is unclear, but it could have a lot to do with how introverts evaluate happiness. Introverts value higher quality friendships and better emotional stability. It can be tough to maintain such a high degree of satisfaction all the time. Individuals with antisocial personality disorder experience negative feelings more often than positive feelings. Recent studies have found that individuals with ASPD are able to feel anger and rage, but are unable to experience fear and dissatisfaction. Number four, introverts and antisocial people have very different personality traits. Introverts need quiet to concentrate. They're reflective and self-aware. They take time making decisions and feel comfortable being alone. They prefer writing over talking and daydream or use their imaginations to work out a problem and retreat into their own mind to rest. Those with antisocial personality disorder may begin to show symptoms in childhood, but the condition can't be diagnosed until adolescence or adulthood. According to the Cleveland Clinic, antisocial people may be physically aggressive, behave recklessly, blame others for their problems, manipulate or deceive others, destroy property, and show little to no remorse for hurtful actions. Number five, causes. Everyone's personality comprises a unique combination of behaviors that programs how people see, comprehend, and relate to the world around them. Personality emerges during childhood, molded by a combination of genetic traits and environmental influences. The actual cause of antisocial personality disorder is unknown, but genetics may predispose you to the illness and life events may trigger it. It's also believed that during brain development, changes in the functioning of the brain may have occurred. Scientists are unsure whether introversion or extroversion has an exact cause. However, what they do know is that brains of the two personality types operate in somewhat different ways. Introverts have more blood flow to the frontal lobe than extroverts. This area of the brain aids with memory, problem solving, and planning. And number six, relationships. Introverts are perfectly capable of having healthy, meaningful relationships with others. Introverts tend to have close relationships with a small group of people. The individuals they care about get to know them well and form genuine connections with them. Even though they only have a few friends, it doesn't mean that they're socially inept in any way. It's simply a matter of personal preference. In those with ASPD, the condition can be harmful to the affected person as well as anyone who comes in contact with them. Risk-taking behaviors, Harmful activities and criminal acts are more common in people with antisocial personality disorder. Those suffering from the condition are sometimes described as having no conscience and feeling of guilt for their detrimental deeds. This may make it hard for them to maintain healthy relationships. So did this video help you understand the difference between antisocial people and introverts? We hope you've learned about the difference between them, even though we often lump both into the same category.